Uh, this is just a little recap of what I showed you today about Rotten Tomatoes. Um, Rotten Tomatoes is an aggregator that gives you a bunch of different reviews. Uh, when you get to the front page, they have television and uh, film, so there's TV and uh, and full-length movies. You can see what's out right now, what's popular, um, and then there's they also give you little like suggestions of things that you can watch. Um, and these essential comedies are essential. All right, but I am getting ahead of myself. So. What you need to know is uh, you're going to be needing movie reviews for your projects. Um, whatever films you're watching, you're going to want to have someone else's opinion to bump your own opinions up against. And so Rotten Tomatoes is a great way to get it. I know it's super irritating with the ads, and I'm sorry about that feature, but there you have it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in your, um, your title of your movie. And since you've heard me talk about this... Uh, so Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a favorite of mine. So you click on that. Come on, Bessie. All right. Now, once you get here, it gives you the tomato meter, which there's two different pieces to this. There's the tomato meter and then there's the audience score. So the tomato meter is based on reviewers, what professional film reviewers are saying about the movie. And then the audience score is based on what the audience thinks. Um, so this basically is about the quality of the film from a filmmaking perspective, and this is about sort of an enjoyment factor. Um, when you are looking at movies on your own, I didn't mention this today, but I want you to make sure that they at least at least one of these has to be over 60%. All right. Oh, score details. That's very interesting. Um, so what you're going to do down here. They let you do reviews if you want, but what we're looking for is here's information which you can use in your project if you want to give me a you know snapshot of the film. Um, but here's the critical reviews. Now you're going to look at if it says top critic, then that's someone who's actually a critic who knows what they're they're doing. So let's look at um, hmm, where's a good one. All right, we'll go up to the London Times. So this one here. Uh, it gives you a little blurb about it, but if you click on full review, and some of these are going to be from magazines where you can only get a certain amount of articles a month, which is what happened to me with The New Yorker, but um, just, you know, be aware of that. You might not be able to access it. If there's something that you're dying to, um, wow, I just didn't even read that. I just gave them access. Uh, if there's something that you're dying to look at and you can't get it, I can probably get it through secret librarian channels, so just let me know. All right, so when you cite your source, even though you got it through Rotten Tomatoes, when you cite it, because you do have to cite it, you're going to cite it from where it actually appeared. So this appeared in the Times. So it's gonna, you're going to say something along the lines of, according to Kevin Marr in the London Times, Once Upon a Time is Quentin Tarantino's, master Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece. You know, and you can quote from here. Um, in your in your um, section. All right, that is all I wanted you to know. I wanted you to know how to get to Rotten Tomatoes, how to search for something, and then the difference between the critics and the um, the critics and the audience score, and then how to cite based on um, the actual place where it was published, as opposed to citing Rotten Tomatoes. If you say according to Nigel Andrews in Rotten Tomatoes, or worse, if you say, according to Rotten Tomatoes, I don't know what I'm going to do. It'll be terrible. It'll be terrible. So don't do that. All right. If you have any questions, of course, you may ask me at any time. Have a good one.